What's going on, everybody? Thank you for stopping in. Now, Dalvin Cook, probably going to be a Jet in the next 48 hours, unless there's a Odell Beckham Jr. 11th hour bid. And in that case, he will set the record for most uh, videos I've made about a non-Jet. So let's hope that he is. But there's been a lot of talk about who's going to be the odd man out in the Jets running back room, right? Dalvin Cook in, somebody out. Practice squad, Bam Knight, trade Michael Carter. What are we going to do? I, I made a video the other day kind of comparing the different skill sets and the analytics and to try and guide our thinking there. I'll link it at the end if you want to check it out. But there are really four options, and I think the fourth one is a lot more viable than most Jet fans are, are thinking. I haven't really seen it discussed a ton. And I think it actually might be the best of worlds for everybody involved. So option A is you keep five running backs, which I think is highly unlikely if you try to make a 53-man roster with five running backs, really tough. Option B is you probably cut Bam Knight, try and bring him, bring him back on the practice squad, which I think there's a decent chance that you could do that. We brought him back on the practice squad last year. I think as fans, we kind of always overrate um, how coveted our players will be uh, to other teams. So you could probably bring Bam back. Uh, C, you could cut, or probably if you're going to move on from Michael Carter, you can get something in a trade for him because he does have fourth round draft pedigree and he has a season of excellent tape. And I, I do think Jeff fans are a little quick on the trigger with that. I don't think Joe Douglas is going to want to do that. A fourth round pick after only two years when one of those years was really good. Look at some of these, look how long it took them to move off of Mims. And he didn't want to be here the last year. Ashton Davis is still on the roster, right? Beckton hadn't played in two years. They got trade offers for him. They they turned them down. So unless you're begging to be out of here, Elijah Moore, uh, he's going to want to keep his draft picks around um, un unless they become completely uh, unplayable. And then option D is you start running back Brees Hall on the four-week injured reserve so he doesn't count against the 53 and you keep everybody. Now, I know you don't believe in Brees. It's a ligament. I don't know how you believe in a ligament. It's not personal. And I want Brees Hall to play 17 games this year. Well, how can he play 17 games if he starts on the IR? Well, how many games does it take to win the Super Bowl? Assuming you're not the one seed. 21. And that is my goal for this year, because if it's not my goal this year, when is it ever going to be? And are the New York Jets winning a Super Bowl without Brees Hall having a monster playoff performance? No, they are not. Uh, he's arguably their best offensive playmaker. In the right in the conversation with Garrett Wilson, he probably would have won Rookie of the Year uh, over Garrett if he didn't get hurt. And now it allows you to get Brees almost all the way back up to a full year from injury, and get him ramped up slow. You have the bye week around week six. So you can even tuck him on the back of your depth chart. You can dress him and not play him week five by week, week six. Now you play him week seven and he's a full year removed. And now when we're getting into post Thanksgiving playoff football, he's really rounding into form and should be peaking by the playoffs. And that is a, a really good long-term vision for the Brees Hall. I think it could be best what's best for him and what's best for the team. Now, you look at the running backs that you kept those first four weeks, open tryout. All these arguments we've been having. No, Michael Carter this, Bam Knight that, Izzy this. I don't have a huge dog in the fight, to be honest. Between Bam Knight, um, Izzy Abanacanda, and Michael Carter, you can rank those guys one, two, three, any order you want, and I won't fight you too much because Michael Carter has one awesome year and one terrible year, and Bam Knight has 85 carries, and Izzy's never taken a snap, although I like to pick. And then you know, sort itself out. Maybe Michael Carter looks like rookie Michael Carter. Okay, he's got to stay. Maybe Bam Knight or Izzy really carve out a role on special teams. Maybe Izzy is our, our great kick returner. And then we got to keep him and you put Bam on the practice squad. Maybe all these young guys are so good that, you know, like, you know we don't really need Dalvin Cook. Uh, and then maybe there's a team that has an injury where you, you trade Dalvin Cook uh, to that team for some seventh round pick and just move off of his money and roll with your young guys. Maybe one of those guys has gotten hurt. And the problem kind of solves itself and Bree steps in for them. So I think that is a very uh, viable option. And then Dalvin Cook, it allows you the luxury to slow roll it with Brees because he can come in off of four straight Pro Bowls, even though he's a little bit on the decline. And he can be your running back one with a, a big time workload the first third of the season and then kind of slowly become more of a relief pitcher after that.
uh, because I, I know you can never have too much talent, but I don't see the Jets spending a good amount of money on on Dalvin Cook if Brees Hall didn't tear his ACL, right? With how v- devalued running back is around the league, bringing in a moderately expensive veteran when you have Brees Hall who has demonstrated Pro Bowl potential, when you have other guys like Bam and Michael Carter who have flashed in spots, and you spend a fifth-round pick, which is which is kind of high on a running back, right? A fifth-round pick running backs come in uh, and start in this league all the time. And so they obviously are signing Cook, in my opinion, as some sort of hedge against Brees' either availability uh, or workload in the beginning of the year. And I think it's a smart thing to do. So I know it's unpopular. We want Brees to have that Adrian Peterson-like season, rip-roaring, ready to go uh, by week one. But I, I think, as Robert Sala said, they may have to take it even slower than they need to and protect the player from himself. And we'll talk all soon.